Good morning, Crusaders. You may be wondering why I'm on your screens right now. Well, surprise, there is now telecast on Mondays too. Anyway, back to the script. I'm your host, Diane Light, and welcome back to Crusader Nation. At this time, please put away your phones. Teachers and or student leaders, make sure students have put away their phones and or devices. I will wait. Now, let's hand this over to Joseph Zuluaga with prayer. Good morning. Let us prepare ourselves for the morning prayer. Please stand. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Another week has begun. May we lay our plans before God's holy hands. May He bless every task at hand. May He guide our mind that we focus only on the positive out of every situation. May He guide our lips that we may not hurt anyone. May He guide our hands that we may, that we may only do what is right. May He guide our feet that our steps may not falter. And may all our prayers He grant. And together we pray, may the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be glorified in all places through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Back to you, Diane. Thanks, Joseph. Time for some announcements. Phone icon on the screen? Well, there is a new Our Time phone policy. With more information, here's a video brought to you by Student Parliament. Hey Crusaders, this is Van coming to talk to you about our new cell phone policy starting today. So on all the slides, if you look up and you see a green check mark, that means it is okay to have your phones out because we have something for you to do on the slide that requires your phone. If you see a slide that has either the no headphones or no phones, your phones may not be out at all. They may not be on your desk. They may not be out to be seen at all. Deans will be coming around starting today, giving out detentions for anybody who has a cell phone out, unless you happen to be on a green check screen. Thanks all. We appreciate you following the new policy. Have a great day and go Crusaders. Thanks for the video. Thanks for the video parliament. Make sure those phones are put away need to be in the hallway well it looks like you'll be needing a pass from now on you are not allowed to be in the halls during class time without a pass if you are caught in the halls without a pass you can and will be given a detention by any faculty or staff member people with the wellness period are not allowed to enter the building unless they have a pass or brought specifically with a faculty or staff member if you are caught in the halls during your wellness period, you will be given a detention. If you need to stretch your legs and walk around, you have to stick to, the, to walking in the courtyard. Congratulations, Reardon. We did it! <laughs> On March 1st and 2nd, we raised over $350,000 from 624 donors. Alumni, parents, friends, faculty, and even current students rallied to make this our most successful giving day ever. Thank you for helping us reach our goals and most importantly, for making a difference for our future. With that being said, here was the final house standings for Giving Day. Pilar came in first, Kana in second, Bolts in third, and Resi in fourth. In sports news, we would like to give a special congratulations to our boys varsity basketball team on a great season. Even though it didn't end the way anyone wanted it to end, we would like to recognize the hard work, dedication, and teamwork. We know they will come back stronger next season. Congratulations to the varsity baseball team with a win against University with a score of 2-0. to zero. Way to swing it out of the park! Running on to the next sport, we have track and field. Track and Field opened their season at the K Bell Invitational Saturday. Congratulations to senior Edward McDonald and freshman Alejandro Coriano for winning their respective races. Boys Volleyball will have their first practice tomorrow, Tuesday, March 7th, after school, in the gym from 3 to 5 p.m. Make sure to have turned in the correct paperwork to Coach Morris or Mr. Green in the Athletic Director's Office. Contact Coach Morris or Mr. Keeney if you would like to play but have not filled out the proper paperwork yet. Moving on to the arts. 
Congratulations to the Reardon Winter Color Guard for receiving second place in the Scholastic Regional Class A Division. And the Reardon Winter Drumline for receiving fifth place in the Percussion Scholastic Class A Division at their competition in Fremont on Saturday. Fiddler on the Roof tickets are now on sale. Opening night is March 23rd and runs till the 26th. Check the school website or scan the QR code for the po on the posters in the hallway for tickets. Interested in designing a house spirit shirt? Well, you're in luck. There's a house spirit shirt competition design. Design your first draft and send it by Friday, March 10th. Final designs must be submitted by March 24th. Individual house winners get a free t-shirt with their design. Winning designs will be available for purchase in April and will be used for the 2023 House Crusader Games. Directors, di directions, in your email and, and email Mr. Magni for any questions. As the school year nears the end and seniors are finding out what schools they'll be attending, we have some senior spotlight with a returning show called College Corner. bringing back an old segment to telecast called College Corner. So this week we are going to be highlighting college bound crusaders who have already committed to schools this year. This week we'd like to congratulate the following students. Odalise is going to Grand Canyon University in Arizona. Zion is going to Davidson in North Carolina. Isaiah, Fresno State, Gerald and Joseph are going to New York in Columbia University. Zach will be attending UC Davis. Oscar will be going to Amherst in Massachusetts. Congratulations to these college bound crusaders and wishing the rest of the senior class best of luck as they're receiving college decisions this coming month. Remember to update your score when you get your decisions and you know where you're going. Thank you, crusaders. Congrats to you seniors. It's always hard to get the motor running on Mondays, so here's a video to help motivate you. Remember, never stop reaching for your goals. You got this. If you need help and or some motivational encouragement, email Gerald. As we sign off, Parliament has created a kahoot for you all. Teachers, please scan the QR code to take you to the login page. Have fun. Bye. See you all on Thursday.